at Everbank Field on the day the NFL's new league year begins. And at 4 o'clock this afternoon, get out your pens. Teams can start signing free agents. News for Jack sports analyst Cole Pepper joins us here in the morning show. Saw the state of the franchise yesterday. Learned a lot about what's in the year ahead. But one of the things that people are talking about is improving the team. In fact, Mark Lamping said, you know what, we've made progress in the past. We need to make more and we need to make it quicker. And this free agency can go a long way in making that happen. Well, they've done so much in terms of the stadium and the game day experience. But if they don't win, it's all for naught. It, it, it only goes so far, right? You, you've got to get the wins and you've got to have a better roster to do that. You've got to have better coaching. All of those things that we've talked about. And starting at 4 o'clock today, there are probably going to be a couple of guys who are going to sign on the dotted line with the Jaguars and start bolstering that defense that was an issue last year. Right, they've got issues on both sides that they've really got to, got to shore up. Yeah, they do. In, in fact, let's take a look at the 14 or so free agents who may be on the shopping list. And you and I were chatting earlier. You can already eliminate some, so let's not worry about that. Who do you think they're going to focus on? Well, already reports that Calais Campbell uh, is going to be signed. He's a defensive end, pass rusher, a guy who's been very consistent. Uh, I've interviewed him before when he was playing for the uh, Arizona Cardinals. A smart guy, uh, really a pro about things. And Campbell's a guy that they'll certainly be looking at uh, to add. I think as a result of that, you can go with Campbell, scratch Nick Perry off the list. I don't think they're going to probably be signing multiple pass rushers, Perry from the Green Bay Packers. Uh, th but the kind of players that they're going to be signing are going to be very Tom Coughlin kind of players. Uh, Coughlin one time in a, in a draft drafted everybody who had been a team captain. And, and these are the kind of players he's looking for. Pros, guys who have the right uh, approach, more veteran savvy. Uh, and Campbell's a guy who's certainly been that uh, for, for Arizona for years. Yeah, and if you listen to TC yesterday, he made it clear. Number one, you come in with a mindset to win. Nothing short of that. Number two, you come in with a mindset of being part of a team. And number three, you be a leader and you have an affection for everybody else on the team. I thought one of the most powerful things Coughlin said yesterday was team first, team last, team always. When he puts that out there, I mean, that, uh, with all the other talk about uh, the business side of things during that state of the franchise yesterday, for Coughlin to go out there and make those comments about this is how we want to approach things, I mean, I think it was a pretty clear message. The guys that he wants to sign and add into this roster or keep on this roster are going to be team first guys. And, and Shad Khan started off by saying, you know, what's good, is, uh, good for Jacksonville is good for the Jaguars. What's good for the Jaguars is good for Jacksonville. And the team really has gone beyond what happens on the gridiron in making this city what it is. Well, it, and you have to do that. I mean, when you're the, the only game in town in terms of major league sports, the, the top tier sports, uh, the Jaguars have that opportunity and some would say even a responsibility to add to what happens as far as the, uh, the, the city is concerned. And they've done a lot of those things and, and the shipyards project could be the next part of that you, you know they're working on the amphitheater and so forth but a winning team i mean that matters to the city too i mean ask atlanta what it was like this year to have the falcons go all the way to the super bowl and almost win it ask what it means in boston for the patriots to have been dominant or indianapolis when they had peyton manning and were doing so well. anytime a city has a team doing well winning championships that adds to the city and it adds to the business opportunities in the city as well it does and mark lamping made no secret of it Revenues could be a little bit better, and I think he might have been hitting at a ticket price increase. I mean, he didn't go that far, yeah. but if they're going to increase the price, people are going to say, you need to win. You want me to pay more. Yeah, and I, I think a lot of it was what was not said in that uh, state of the franchise yesterday. The conversation was about, here are the things that are challenges for us as a franchise, but what was not said is, well, what does that mean? You know, what is that next step? Uh, they talked a lot about London and the impact that that would have as well interesting to see what the next steps are going to be. Got to listen to what's not said. Now, as soon as any decisions are made with the Jaguars, we will send you push alerts from our News for Jacks app. And if you missed any of this interview with Cole, revisit it on the Morning Show page 